on earth are all my balls going into the net? Guys, I'm going to help you today. It's one of the most uh, common mistakes, especially for average players. They're missing the net, especially under pressure. Big points, you'll notice them missing in the net. So if you can cut the net out of the game, you're going to be in business, okay? The first tip is, and it ties into one of my previous videos that you guys liked a lot, was why, why, why am I hitting all my balls out? Today is why am I hitting all my balls in the net, okay? And a lot of the principles are the same. The first one especially, you don't realize, but you are, you're too stiff in your racket, okay? You gotta understand, for you to, um, to lift the ball, there needs to be a stage where you're going under the ball. And if I'm very stiff, it's either gonna go straight into the net, or if I find a way to lift it, it's gonna go up, okay? So, you need to relax your arm because, and your hand, grip it softly, because there needs to be a stage where you're going under the ball and then over it. This needs to happen automatically when you're, grip, when you're gripping the racket nice and softly, everything happens automatically smooth. Don't grip it, relax. As soon as I calm down, I'm able to drop below the ball automatically and the ball will go up automatically. All these principles I'm talking about applies to the back end as well. Single hand, double hand, so I need to relax my grip. Relax, this is gonna help me to automatically get below the ball. So there, and the ball just goes up when, when my arms are relaxed. That's tip number one to stay away from the net, guys. Second tip, so, so important. You gotta understand, even if you have the most beautiful swing, if you're hitting straight through the ball, and there's no lifting time, then the ball won't go up. You gotta understand tennis is a lifting game. So I'll show you, I'll have a perfect swing. Perfect swing, but for some reason, the ball's not going up, why? Because there's no stage in my swing where it's going up, okay? So after contact point, there needs to be a stage where the racket's going up and through. The same way, if I'm just going up, it's also not gonna work. I'm just gonna go straight up or straight down. If I just go forward, it's not gonna work. Okay, you need to go up and forward at the same time. Then it's a lifting game. As soon as I do that, the ball is gonna start lifting. There needs to be a stage where the racket's going up and forward at the same time. Lift the ball, then it's a lifting game. Okay guys, those of you who like my channel and you're a fan of my channel, you'll, you'll know that I'm a little bit obsessed with legs, okay? So understand that if your legs are if your legs are if you if you're high if your legs are straight then you're gonna hit down. The lower you are, the more you can hit up. Okay? So if you think that you can get the ball over the net when your legs are straight, you might get lucky every now and then, but it's very risky, okay? In order for you to get the ball up, first you need to get down. The lower I am, the more I can hit up. The lower I am, the more I can hit up. You'll never be able to consistently stay away from the net if you don't get under the ball with your legs. And which ties into my last little tip, many players who um, like to hit close stance, if you'll just look at me from the side, if you, a lot of players that like to hit close stance too often, they put too much weight on the front leg, and if I have too much weight on my front leg, look at my head, and now the racket has to go down. If there's too much weight on my front leg, I can't hit the ball up. So if you wanna hit close stance, 100% use it, but understand that the back leg has to be down first and now I step in and from here I transfer the weight onto my front leg now it's easier to get the ball up I'll show you one more time I put weight on the back leg first and then I step forward then I can hit up I'll show you the same on the backhand side the exact same thing if I put all my weight on the front leg the ball has to go down it wants to go down okay so put weight on the back leg first close stance and now you're able to hit the ball up, okay? There, now I can actually hit the ball up, okay? Left leg down, and now I can hit the ball up. Guys, if you use those tips, you will immediately be able to stay away from the net. And if you are able to stay away from the net, you're gonna win more matches, you're gonna enjoy tennis more, and you're gonna be a lot more consistent. Subscribe to my channel, please.